Welcome to Abstract Press. In this video, I will show you how to build country, state, city drop down in React JS. We will have three drop downs. First, we will have countries list. If we select a country, states will be populated. If we select a state, cities will be populated. Let's do it. This is the package that we're going to use country, state, city. I'll copy the install command and use it here where my react.js app is installed this package gives you country state and city exports we can use these exports to access specific methods and data to get required information for example country dot get country by code and then if we provide country code we will get the information for that country state dot get state by code and country this method will take country and state codes in order to provide the state information. State.getStatesOfCountry will provide the states of a given country. Similarly, city.getCitiesOfStates can be used to get cities of a state, and so on. The package is installed. Here is our app. I'm going to import use state hook and then import country, state, and city from the package. Then here we will have our state countries. We are using country dot get all countries. It will get all the countries and store it in a state called countries. Then I will create two more states to store states and cities we will select the country and state to populate cities so we need to remember that country and state in the app so we will need two more states to store selected country and selected state selected country selected state initially these will be null so we have these states countries all the countries states cities selected country selected state now inside return, we will have three columns. First we'll have container, then the raw, and these are our three columns. Inside each column, there will be a select field. Here, select field for country, select field for state, select field for city. State and city will be disabled from start. And here we have it, country, state, and city. These two are disabled. And here, countries list will be populated. OK, let's populate the countries. First, let's see what have we got. And here we have got all the countries. This is state for the country. These are the countries stored in state. So country has got name, ISO code, flag, own code, currency, longitude and latitude. We need these two, country name and ISO code. That can be accessed by using these keys, name and ISO code. So here, we will use this. Countries dot map country option will be inside and here we can use country dot name this name we will need key and value as well so key and value can be country dot iso code so the countries have been populated from the state. Now let's handle on change event for this select box. The so on change e handle country change. This is the function. Countries dot find c c dot iso code e target value. E is the event object that is passed into the arrow function when the event occurs. The E object contains information about the event, such as the value of the selected option. E target value is the current value of the selected option in the dropdown. 
Here we iterate over country's array and find the country object whose ISO code matches the value of the selected option. Selected option is this e.target.value and C is the current country object in each iteration of the dot find method. This step selects the full country object based on the ISO code of the selected option and then it's passed to this function handle country change. This is the function handle country change. It will take country object. Then it sets the selected country in this state here. Then it also stores the states of that selected country in the app state by using set states. Here, states are being stored and states are retrieved by using this method state dot get states of country state is coming from here and then we provided country iso code that is retrieved from this object then this whole thing is saved here that we will be able to access using this and after that we reset cities when country changes let's see if we were able to store the states here so these are the countries if I select a country, let's say Australia. See, here we have it. We have states, ISO code, country code, longitude, and latitude. So based on country selection, we have the states. Let's populate states in this select box based on country selection. So we can access states from this state. So here we are populating states from the app state and we're accessing state names and ISO code from the object. States select field will be disabled if no country is selected. So we select the country, let's select Canada and here we have got states of Canada and these are populated here as well. Now what will happen when we select a state from here? We have to handle that event too. So another on change handler will be here. And here on select, we match the state by using ISO code and then pass selected state to a function called handle state change. And here is that function that will take state object. It will set the selected states in the app state. Set selected state, state. Here. Then it gets the cities by matching selected country and state. City dot get cities of state is provided by the package. So here we have retrieved the cities under selected state. Then we are storing it in this state to access it using cities. So cities have also been stored in state now. Let's populate those cities by using map method. This is the city select field. Here we used cities.map. Cities is the state where cities are stored. From this state, we needed cities name as key value and as a display text. Let's see. So here are the countries. Let's select United States. Here are the states. Let's select Georgia. And you see cities have been populated, but this is still disabled. So it will be disabled if no state is selected. Let's select United States. Let's select the state. And here are the cities. So the app is working. Countries are populated. When we select a country, states are populated. Then we select a state. And then cities are populated. And this is how we can create drop down fields for countries, states, and cities in ReactJS. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.